everyone. Okay, today I want to do something that I find relatively easy to do. So I'm going to do a traveling ring pour. The colors I'm using are, this is uh, Amsterdam Carmine. Oh, hopefully you can see that. And um, Amsterdam Van Dyke Brown. And then I was going to mix or use those with Amsterdam Light Gold, but I ran out of it <laughs> midway through measuring. So it's actually four parts light gold and four parts deep gold that I just showed you there. And I have popped them in a three-way split cup. Just checking that you can see that there, I think so. Gold's in the middle and then the brown and the red. Um, I love sort of chocolate brown and red together. So all I'm going to do is just start doing a three ring pour like so and moving the canvas slightly along as I go. Um, I'm wondering if I should have a base paint actually. Yeah, I think I will do. I want these colors to move nicely. Uh, I have some. Oh, there we go. I wonder if this one's thick enough. I have some black. No, that's way too thin. <laughs> I'm not using that one. Okay, I'm going to use a nice thick uh, base paint. I have some black that I've um, made for blooms. So I think that's going to be just fine to use. Just to have the ring pour move, move along nicely. I don't need an awful lot, I don't think, because there's going to be plenty of paint from the split cup. So I'm just gonna, just going to move that around just a little bit. I haven't attached my canvas to the to the spinner. I I do sometimes um, just use some painter's tape, uh, fold it over to make double-sided tape and uh, just use that to attach my canvas if I know I'm going to be doing some fairly vigorous spinning like with blooms for example but this time I think we're going to go pretty gentle pretty gentle with the uh, spinning so I think we'll be all right just got to watch it make sure it's uh, nice and centered this is easy to center here because the uh, canvas is 12 inch and my spinner is 12 inch so yeah easy peasy to get it positioned position just right just gonna pop these air bubbles this base paint is a nightmare i actually made this uh i don't know maybe 24 yeah 24 hours ago and it's still full of bubbles because it's so thick but that's that's okay just gotta be careful you don't burn your paint when you're um, when you're popping the bubbles oh and the recipes for the paints in my um split cup i've used uh european flow troll so the uh, old troll brand a little bit of um uh pouring medium the liquitex gloss and amsterdam paint and some water i wrote down approximately what i used <laughs> very precise notes as you can see um yeah you can see i've been doing a drip test to uh ensure the consistencies are the same but yeah i'll write down the uh consistencies in the comments below uh consistencies the recipes pardon me and yeah there we go um when you look at the recipes do remember that um your environment your uh the pouring medium or flow troll you're using etc or make a difference to how much water you will need to use to dilute if any and yeah just bear that in mind um i've made these a very thick consistency because i don't want the colors to mix too much and really just do the drip test like that if you want me to show you a video of this leave me a comment below and i'm happy to walk you through it but the important thing is that all the paints are the same consistency when it comes to ring pours okay so i'm just going to start um 
I'll speed this up so that I don't keep you here all day again and uh, pop some music on for you and I'll speak to you in a bit. Right, that's my uh, traveling uh, split cup tree ring pour. Gosh, that's a mouthful. Uh, that's all done. I'm just gonna touch the bubbles a little bit. I don't think I have too much in the uh, colors there. I like how that's turned out, that's really pretty. So now I'm just gonna give it a spin just to spread the, spread the design out a bit. See over there how it's trying to oops fold over itself um the paint is sort of trying to yeah i guess that's a good way of uh, describing it. it's attempting to fold over itself so i'm just going to pop a little bit of paint there help it along we're looking good everywhere else i think it's going to move along just nicely just fine but just to be sure Got my trusty um, palette knife there. I'm just gonna spread this here. Corners can be tricky. Um, they want to uh, stop the paint quite often. I've got plenty of paint just there. And I'm gonna fix this, well not fix, but help this corner along as well. As always, um, I find I have to pay really careful attention to the um, the folds of the canvas, you know, where the canvas is folded over in the corners, because the paint really does not want to go there. It's kind of funny, I've ended up with a few paintings that I've had to or will have to fix with um, just some acrylic paint and a brush once they're ready. You know, it's it's not a major issue, but I just find it really irritating, you know. But yeah, it's not exactly a problem, but it's nice not to have to do that. Okay, I'm going to get back to this corner where I have very little paint. I am actually wondering if I should tilt this a little bit this way. I think I will. Uh, just to get it to move. But not too much. Yeah, what's happening here is the red is spreading out more than I want it to. I want the brown and the gold rings to show just there. It's funny, um, these bits here, they're not exactly very sharp, those are feathery effects. But, you know, just the way it goes sometimes. And still, I'm, I'm happy with the way it looks off. It's getting really slippery underneath. The, uh, the spinner is quite hard to spin right now. Okay. Yeah. Uh, as always, there's quite a bit of paint that you will lose over the edges. But that's fine in my opinion. Some people don't like, don't like seeing that. But as far as I'm concerned, that kind of goes with the territory <laughs> don't you think okay um right looking good so far i definitely want to move that, that that way i don't like that part there so i'm just going to give it a good spin now there we go oh i love what's happened there that's really cute, I think. Right, now I need to decide. I'm losing most of the brown. So I'm going to stop there. And I am just going to add some black to there. And just finish that bit there. Just so that we'll have a little bit of our negative space. Which is always nice, if, if you ask me. Finish messing with this. Oh, now I'm glad I left a spoon in this pot of, um, pot of paint. There we go. 
go. I like how you can uh, sort of fairly easily alter the design after the fact. I used to be terrified of terrified of doing this thinking I'll ruin the design. <laughs> but you know, it's good to go with go with your instinct as to what you see as a nice nice composition. There we go. Right. And now what we want to do is make sure all my edges are covered and then just tilt that that bit a little oh look at that oh dear nearly having just that issue i was saying about these folded corners every time that's why i've learned to <laughs> go through with it really carefully and just just ensure I don't have those um, uh, sort of uh, what you might call it uncovered naked corners. Yeah, you could call them naked corners, I guess. There we go. Right, I think that looks pretty good. I am tempted to go in with a skewer and just accentuate the gold into the red. I think I will do that. In which case, I will pop some music on again, so you don't have to, don't have to sit there ages watching me do that. So I'm just gonna give the skewer treatment a little whirl. Actually, I will spin this just once more, I have a ton of pages here that I could do with getting rid of. There we go. Right, so yeah, music coming up and I'll be back shortly. welcome back right I am done um, I lost a lot of the brown unfortunately uh, that's a shame it was it, the Van Dyke brown is such a such a beautiful um, sort of chocolatey dark chocolate color is absolutely stunning but you know never mind it's not the end of the world um, Actually, this is rather fitting to the season. I think it's pretty festive colors, the gold and the red. Um, I uh, expanded or sort of pulled the black through into the middle because it has almost a feathery look just to accentuate the feathery, feathery effect. Right, and all I'm doing now is, and for the next, I don't know, 10 minutes, half an hour maybe on and off, I will be going just wiping under the edges because the paint is so heavy it's very thick um, so even though you know you would think a runny paint would pull the design down this this paint is so thick it's rather heavy and it'll keep pulling pulling the paint down otherwise but yeah what do you think I'd love to hear Love to hear what you think of this this design. I still have um, a fair bit of paint left in the uh, split cup, so I will probably do do another one. Or I don't know. I have a have an idea brewing as well, but we'll see. So that is that one done. Um, yeah. Oh, um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. That would really help me along. Um, I would be eternally grateful. Thank you. <laughs> now, 
um yeah if you feel like it please please do subscribe and thanks to those who already have i really appreciate your your support here it means a lot so all that is left to say i think is thanks so much for joining me again and uh, i look forward to seeing you soon bye <laughs>